I mean, just look at this. Today, I'm making a batch of pickled eggs for the bistro. So I'm gonna use about 30 eggs. That's what it takes to fill up one of these, but this recipe will work with as little as one egg if you only need to pickle one egg. So I've had my eggs here and I've had them out for a while to sort of get them to room temperature. When we pickle eggs, we wanna use eggs that are not super duper fresh. Uh, a very fresh egg, like it's like just a few days old will have issues often with peeling the shell off of the egg after it's cooked. Uh, you'll get that pockmark egg, which we don't want when we're doing a pickle. Uh, they're still totally edible. There's no problem with them. They just uh, aesthetically are not as pleasing as a beautiful, nice, perfectly shaped pickled egg. And we like to use egg that's like over a week, maybe two weeks old. When you purchase your eggs, your carton will have a date on it of when the eggs were packed. A lot of people would recommend that in order to avoid having issues peeling the egg, you could poke a hole in the egg. Um, studies have shown that it doesn't really make a difference. It's this side here, the fat side, where the little air pocket is that you wanna poke that hole. Even though we call these hard boiled eggs, we don't actually wanna boil them. We wanna simmer them at around 85 degrees centigrade or 185 degrees Fahrenheit. So whenever you wanna blanch something or cook something in hot water, it's often a good idea to use a really large pot. Um, I'm gonna get this water up to a boil and then I'm gonna add these eggs and the eggs are cold, they're at room temperature, but they're still gonna drop the temperature of my water quite dramatically. Big pot of water with lots of room for your eggs, lots of thermal mass in there, and bring that to a boil. Once we put these in here, it's gonna bring that water down from the boil and we don't have to worry about the water being too hot anymore. If you think a watch pot never boils, you should try boiling one for a video. It's like, it takes forever. It's also been suggested in some quarters that if you add a little bit of baking soda to your boiling water, that you will have less issue getting the uh, shells off. So my water's boiling, it's at 100 degrees centigrade, and I'm going to lower some eggs in, about four at a time, gently. 29 eggs. One of my eggs <clears throat> broke open as I put it in there. It maybe had a crack in it before and I didn't notice it. So I'm down two eggs. One of them is on the floor and the other one was cracked. Uh, that might've been broken beforehand. So I'm just gonna chuck it because maybe it, um, it's a compromised egg. So the eggs went in at uh, 100 degrees centigrade and they're now down to about 90 degrees centigrade. So the, the eggs brought the overall temperature of the water bath down. I'm also gonna give a gentle stir and then I have a timer and I'm going to start the timer for 12 minutes. So I'm going to cook these at 85 degrees centigrade, 185 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 minutes. My eggs have been in here for 12 minutes. So now I'm going to carefully put them in some ice water. I'm going to rapidly cool them down using an ice bath. While our eggs are cooling down in the ice bath, we'll put together our brine. This is a simple brine. I use it for a lot of different pickles, quick pickles. So it's very simple. We have four ingredients here. Uh, we have water, vinegar, sugar, and salt. The vinegar is the preservative. The sugar and the salt are there for flavoring. You can remove these um, and replace them with something else, like say an artificial sweetener, or just omit the salt altogether. The amount of vinegar has to be the same. It is the preservative. So when a recipe calls for 5% acetic acid to a certain level or percentage, you wanna make sure you never use less. Always use the vinegar and adjust the other ingredients accordingly. So if you wanted it to be sweeter and not as sour, you could add more sugar. But if you add more sugar, you can't reduce the amount of vinegar. It has to be the same percentage because that's what preserves this. We're gonna put it all in this pot and bring it to a boil. The first thing we have is water. And here we have about 600 milliliters or uh, let's say two and a third cups of water. An equivalent amount of white vinegar, about 18 ounces or 600 milliliters. 
and we have half a cup of sugar, which is about 150 grams of sugar, two and a half tablespoons of salt. So those are just gonna go into this pot and it's gonna boil. If I don't have enough brine, I'll make another batch. If you make too much of this, you can just put the brine in the fridge. You can see I've got some from another batch back here um, and it doesn't go bad. You can just use it later, bring it up to a boil and pour it on whatever you want a quick pickle. I am not going to add anything into here except for two slices of beet. And the reason is I want my eggs to turn purple. I think it looks really cool. It's a fresh beet. I peeled it and sliced it and now it's in the jar. I like to just like tap them down and then I like to peel them in the water. I find that they peel a lot better. So a lot of people will do this underneath a running tap. This egg is peeling nicely. I'm not having any issues. So there is a nice egg. It has a good shape. It looks like a whole egg. So now I have to get it in my mason jar. My hands don't fit in the mason jar. So I'm just gonna use a spoon to gently put my egg in there. Everything went really well. Most of my eggs turned out really good. I had two that gave me a little bit of uh, an issue and they have some pock marks and they kind of broke. Both of them have the yolks really off to one side. I can see the yolk right there. Usually if you are going to have trouble peeling the eggs, you're going to have trouble peeling all your eggs if they're from the same carton. We'll cut one of these open just to see what it looks like inside. It's cooked, it's all together and the yolk is nice and creamy. It's not grainy. So it means they cooked it at a decent temperature. The eggs are also like fully cooked, but quite soft. So that's what we want. Once they're pickled, uh, they will firm up as the vinegar and the salt make their way to the middle of the yolk. It's gonna help cure that yolk and make it more solid and also with the white as well. Because I added the beets, it's also gonna turn the white purple, which looks really nice. My brine is at a boil and everything is dissolved. So now I'm gonna pour it in my pickle jar. I have this nice pickling funnel. And ta-da, I'm gonna fill it right up to about a half an inch below the top. And all my eggs are covered, put the lid on. The eggs are in the jar, the jar is filled with brine, the lid is on, so now what? The goal here is for these eggs to turn purple and to become pickled. The beets will do their job. Maybe every day or two, you could just gently turn the, it upside down and back, and that will allow the beet juice to get to all the eggs. In areas where the egg is up against the jar, the beet juice will take a little bit longer to get there, but you can just sort of like give the jar this little back and forth shake. The eggs aren't pickled yet. It's going to take probably seven days before the eggs are pickled. If you want to eat them right now, you could, but it's just going to be a hard boiled egg that has been in pickle juice and it's not going to be an actual pickled egg, but you can eat them. They're safe to eat at any time. Maximum pickled eggness is going to happen in around 10 days to two weeks. They'll turn purple deeper inside as the beet juice penetrates the white. Safety wise, these are good for a long time. We're gonna keep these in the fridge. This recipe is not designed to be shelf stable. These are for living in the fridge. Take the jar out of the fridge, remove an egg when we want it, and then put the jar back in the fridge. Don't leave it on the counter. As long as it's in the fridge, easily six months, safe. You'll probably eat them before then. This pickled egg recipe is delicious. If you don't believe me, try it.